Okay, if anyone is interested in how I put together these videos with uh, guys from across the country, I'll try to give you an idea here. This is my editing program, my video editing program. Uh, to do that last video, I downloaded the trial version of Sony Vegas 12, and I liked it so well that I, I did go online and purchase that. It's an upgrade from uh, what I had before was, let's see, Sony Vegas Platinum HD 10, and they've changed the name a bit now, and it's just called um, Vegas Pro 12. And I downloaded the trial version, as I said, to do this video, but my purchased version did not come in the mail in time, and I wanted to get this project done, so I just went ahead and, and did it in the trial version. But the reason that I like uh, Vegas 12 so well is that it gives me enough video enough tracks to do these uh, videos on Sony Vegas 10 you only get 10 audio tracks and 10 video tracks to work with so I would have to combine tracks and mix those down and then bring them back in in order to free up tracks to to get the whole thing done but this one is uh, as many as you want and actually I used 31 tracks to do that last video of I saw the light the way I do that is these guys send me a video and here you see uh, dead I one he sent me a video clip of him playing his uh, audio track and he recorded it at the same time he was recording the audio he recorded the video let me get this straight <laughs> It's a little bit confusing, but anyway, he sent me two two tracks. It's a video track, and last time I think R. Peak sent me a video track and an audio track of his banjo on on that other song that we did, Country Church. But this time he just sent me the video track or the video file, and actually it worked pretty well. Uh, normally you don't use the audio track from the video because sometimes this the this mic is not so good in the camera and plus you'll get some um, background noise if there's any other noise going on like for instance uh, on this one the audio track for Mr. Deadeye here uh, is is a clean track that he recorded in another recording program but the video it comes with the soundtrack as well but the soundtrack on it is all you hear since he's got the ear earphones on he's listening to the original track and playing along with it so all you hear on his video the audio track is is him pounding on that keyboard and so you have to unlink that from the video and get rid of that soundtrack or mute it out and then put in the audio track that he recorded and try to match it up with the video and that's kind of tricky but you can uh, you can you know you can make these things bigger these tracks bigger and then you'll get you'll get these uh, spikes in your audio this happened to be George's vocal bass vocal audio track and then there's a George bass vocal video track you can give them all names right over here and I have them named because it's pretty confusing you'll get you'll get mixed up with 30 31 tracks so there's George's tenor video and George's tenor audio and uh, try to mix all the audio tracks and get those mixed down and then start working on the video and getting them in place but uh, I was saying that uh, our peak sent me the just the video and uh, surprisingly it worked out real well the audio track from that was fine and so um, I didn't have to you know link it up to his video uh, where whereas on my tracks and George's track I have to try to match up these spikes that you see here in the audio track with the spikes on his video track or my video track and then once you get everything lined up and get it synced then you can delete the audio track from the, the video file as you see here this track and this program you can add this volume 
line. You can also add pan lines to pan left and right, but, but I've added an audio line here at the keyboard track. Let's minimize this video portion and I can make this track larger so you can see what you're doing and also you can make it longer. But you can go into this track and add this, uh, this volume line as I have done now. You go in insert audio envelope and so this is an audio envelope. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller so I can get to the point here. But you'll see this line that I've added and there's places where I've raised and lowered it to to get the mix just right. You need to bring it up or bring it down so that your levels are are all good on the banjo and you know the vocals and the rhythm and anyway you can see here that I put in this uh, this volume envelope and right here where it spikes up that's where I brought it up for his solo so that when he's playing his uh, his uh, lead break there or solo break the volumes up on that and you can add these if you have one place that spikes a little too high or if you want to get in there and add a fill or run at the end of a phrase or the end of a measure you can go in and click on this and add these little nodes and I'll show you here and then you can bring that up and down and raise and lower the volume on this anywhere you like and and increase it and slack it off however you want so that's just some of the things you do to get this thing mixed just right and I talked about the names over here I've got this named uh, if you can see my cursor there this is rhythm audio panned left and I think 37% and then panned right 37% so there's two tracks there on and on as I said 31 tracks total to make that one video lined up that's actually the harder part it's it's not so bad to mix the the audio tracks because I've done quite a lot of that I've done been recording for years in another program uh, that I use for just recording but it doesn't do video so I'm a little more proficient at that but the video thing I'm still learning about that and I could do there's lots of you know things I could do and hopefully I'll learn but I'm getting a little better at uh, getting these tracks to fade out like when there was nine little windows there as, as you see here or six rather six little windows and to get all these to fade out just at the right time and then uh, to fade into a full screen uh, that was a little tricky to learn for me I know some of you guys it's all easy but you know an old dog trying to learn new tricks but I'm fairly pleased with the way this last one came out right here I'll show you this I can uh, I can just uh, arrow over slowly and you'll see how these little windows fade out and they all do it at the same time they all disappear there we go they're fading out and so I worked uh, a while on that to get them all to fade out just exactly at the same time and then to bring old dead eye up and he looks so cool in his shades I just can't get over that <laughs> cracks me up <laughs> looks really good Dan all right thank you guys for contributing to this video and I just thought I'd kind of show you a little bit about how I've gone about making this happen with uh, jamming with guys from clear across the country so uh, it's been a uh, it's taken hours to do this but it's a labor of love I won't have time to do another one probably for a while but anyway thanks for all of your support all your comments I really appreciate everybody watching I know there's some older folks out there and some younger people too that kind of enjoy this old-time uh, country type music a lot of people don't there's a few that do, so this is for you guys, I guess. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.